Today's video is made possible by Squarespace. What's going on, techers? Welcome back to another edition of Tech of Tomorrow. We've got something really cool that just came off of NDA as you're seeing it this morning at 9 a.m. This is the new Corsair 250D. Now, what the hell is 250D? Well, basically, this is a very small case. You can take anywhere you want. It takes many ITX motherboards. It'll even fit two full-size video cards inside of it. You can put a 240 millimeter rad mounted sideways inside of it. It comes with two fans, 120 and 140 millimeter fan. There's options for all kinds of other fans. There's a window on top. I mean, this thing's just really cool. It's all matte black finish. Well, you guys will see as we unbox this thing. It's basically 89 bucks, and I think it's going to become a very serious contender for those people looking to make little land boxes, steam machines, whatever you want. So with that said, let's go ahead and try to get this thing out of the box. It's actually a pretty big box. So I'll just go ahead and make a few little slices here and there. Not a lot to see with this box, by the way, folks, either. There's just a bunch of sides with all the specs in a bunch of different languages, so I'm not going to really waste your guys' time with that. I'm basically just going to carve this thing out like a Sunday pumpkin and hopefully to, uh, don't smack too many times the system behind me there and uh, get this thing out of the box for you guys. Let me move that to the side. So inside, I'll show you guys though. You guys can see it's all very well packed. So you don't have to worry about in shipping, about it getting broke or anything like that. It'll come solid to you guys. So I'll just go ahead and take it up like that. Set it out on the table and then do what you guys love. Throw the box to the freaking cameraman. Look out! I had fun, did you? <laughs> All right, so check it out. We got more, more stuff to unbox here. A couple more little flying things at the cabin. Oh, landed on his head, hit the mic. Wait, I got an idea. Let me see, you know how when you guys go to like, you know, Knott's Berry Farm or Disneyland and you guys throw stuff like to get around the, you know, the corner, you know, to get like this on top of the guy's head. So let me see if I can do that with Jesus. Stay still, cameraman. Oh, what a biatch, he moved. I would have got myself 10 points in a free, well, you guys know what I would have won. All right, so check it out. A little bit more to go here. We'll pull off the plastic. Get it off there. All righty then. Kabammy. Take the plastic once again. Chuck it at the cameraman. All right, so comes to the manual. Obsidian series. 250D right here. Instructions and all that stuff. I think most of you guys out there are watching the channel. You guys have probably built a system or two. You guys know your way around a case. So let's go ahead and spin this thing around. So... All right, folks, you guys can see little front panel here. It's removable. There's a couple pieces of tape right here. I'll just jerk those off there, get the tape completely off. And in fact, this looks all scratched up on here, but it's not. You guys can see I have to pull this film off. So this film's keeping the thing completely nice and fresh. So I'm just going to leave that on there. Right off the bat, you guys can see one of the fans right there. Let's see how take apartable this thing is. Now remember folks, I just saw this thing like right now with you. So if, if I'm not all familiar with how to totally disassemble it, don't be too angry with me, but I'll figure it out. Everything just pops out. So you guys see that screen comes out. Nice giant fan right there in the front. So up here on top, we've got three different things on this side. We have your headphone, your microphone, two USB 3.0, a bay for your CD drive or whatever you want. Got a little power light right here. Down below that is the whole fan assembly and everything we showed you guys a second ago. So I'm going to go ahead and check this side. On the side right here, there's an additional fan right here. But also, you guys can mount a sideways rad inside the system. So that's going to be pretty awesome. I'll start just taking this thing apart and get this side up. On the very back, we have thumb screws. So, all right, folks, I couldn't totally get it out with my hand, so I got a little tiny screwdriver to make it easier. Um, be honest with you guys, I mean, I don't have the most powerful hands in the world. So, I mean, somebody out there who's young and stronger can probably pop this damn thing off with a lot more simplicity. Hey, I admit it, I'm getting a little bit older. Shh. All right. But now I've got all these thumb screws to be removed so I can take them all off and we can see this thing as it gets disassembled. So I'll pull these top two off right here. Top piece now comes off. As you guys can see, there's a window on the top. Awesome for showing off the inside of the system. Now, I'm just gonna flip this up right here. Here's that bay I showed you guys before where you guys can put a CD player, whatever the hell you want there, you know, Blu-ray or whatever. It's your choice. Inside, all the case wiring. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it up like this. You guys can all see it. Here is the other fan right here. So you have a 120 millimeter, 140 millimeter fan in the front. 
optional fans in the back. Another side panel over here. And these are also removable grills. I don't want to totally pull them out, but you can blow them clean, keep them clean. Uh, full size power supply right here. Let me get that again as well. Keep disassembling this little bad boy as we go. Another screw, another screw. Uh, yes, sir. I like it a day where uh, I get I get screwed. Uh, yeah. So all right, let's go ahead and pop this little bad boy out here as well. Take these screws out, remove them all. All right, this comes off. You can fit a full size power supply in there. So you'll have really no limitation on your power. There'll be two expansion slots once you get inside there. So you can put two video cards actually inside the system. I'm going to keep just disassembling it because uh, I know you guys like that. So let's just keep taking this thing apart all the way down to as far as we can pretty much get it, I guess. So take out some more screws here. Inside of here, I believe are all the accessories. So in a second, when I get to those, we can see the accessories. Now let's keep knocking these little things out one by one. Keep flying around. Here we go. More disassembly. Ba bang So there it's off. Now, check this out. Behind here, we have the five and a quarter base. We have all the accessories. Kablang! Let me get these out of here. So let's pull this out. So you can see this right here. All the bays. Excellent. They require no tools. You just pop your five and a quarter in there, kaboom, away you go. Up here on top, two SSD caddies, or your 2.5, pull those out. Very excellent, very ergonomic to get to. So I'll let you guys see all deep inside of there. So also this other side completely comes off. So we're just gonna keep going here. We're just gonna keep taking this thing apart all the way. So more screws coming out. And more panels are coming off. So you guys see this? Another removable, washable little grill. Here's the side view with the side panel off. Flip it around one more time. Let's go ahead and remove the other side panel completely off so you guys can see in that as well. There are a lot of screws on the table now, people, I am telling you. But the good thing about that is you want to be able to get inside your case. So it's a really good thing that Corsair did this because now you can just totally get inside there, access everything, you don't have to worry about crap. Do your modifications. Now, I think this thing is pretty badass. Why? Well, a lot of people make small cases, but a lot of them, truthfully, are too damn small. They're so small that, that they become ineffective. You know what I mean? Kind of like a small wanky. It's just an ineffective wanky, you know? Just can't do anything with it. This thing, however, has plenty of room on the inside, full-size power supply, full-size video cards. I think this is going to be a great thing. The front, it's simple, easy. That's your power button right there. I think earlier I thought that was a light when I was doing, but this is actually the power button. So that's the power button and that's pretty much it, folks. All right, folks, so there you have it. The new Corsair 250D pretty much broken down and stripped down. If I went any further, I'd have to tear it apart, throw it in a pile and make it scrap metal. And that would just be going a little bit too far. Eh, anyways, I think this thing's gonna be awesome. If you guys want more information about this, down there with the like button in the description, we have all the details where you can purchase this. 89 bucks, free shipping. Pretty much the only thing this thing doesn't have is a giant handle, but beyond that, it's very, very portable. I'm thinking we're going to build a system in this, show it off, and see what all we can do. I think since it can take all the full-size parts, we want to sit there and go, uh, what will fit? What will fit? It's going to be pretty dynamic. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you guys check out the information down there in the description below the like button. If you want this, you can hit that like button and say, hey, we like this video, Elric. I think I'm hitting my chest mic. So if it went boom, 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 my bad. Also, you guys are always asking, hey, what's the music inside the video? Well, the music is always written by somebody here at Tech of Tomorrow. If you guys want to check that music out, you guys can see it over on our music website. That's www.techofdemorrow forward slash music. And also, that website was made completely using this new service by Squarespace.
Squarespace has over 20 templates to choose from, drag and drop functionality, and is optimized to look good automatically, whether you're viewing on a smartphone, computer, or tablet. If you run into any issues along the way, you can take advantage of their 24 hour a day, seven days a week tech support team based out of New York City. Pricing starts at just $8 a month with a free domain if you sign up for a year. And to make things even sweeter for you, our lovely Tech of Tomorrow fans can receive 10% off along with a free trial coupon signing up by using our discount code TOT1 at the checkout. All right, folks, so there you have it, man. We'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow. If you guys like what you see or want to be sub, we'll have a little button up here where you can sub to the channel and get this stuff in your news every day as we release new videos. I'm Elric. I'll see you back here on Tech of Tomorrow.